are going to perform a piece called There Will Come Soft Rains. Uh, it's based on a poem by Sarah Teasdale, and I think it deserves a little explanation. Uh, very different in character from what we just did and, and what we'll fin finish with tonight. But essentially, the message of this piece is that no matter what happens, nature will prevail. And so Sarah Teasdale wrote this poem during World War I, and basically what she was saying is we can have war and we can annihilate ourselves, but nature will remain and nature will go on. And it really kind of puts human beings in their place. We're gonna kind of make it rain at the end of this piece with some finger snapping, um, but the, the poem is called There Will Come Soft Rains.
the last piece we're going to sing tonight, Now I Become Myself, is a really fabulous piece for young women. And um, I love it because it, it is an expression of how we find ourselves and how we do that throughout our lives. And so in the very music, you will hear how there's lots of inner struggle and lots of uh, trying on other faces of other people until we come to really know who we are. So it's now I become myself. Thank you.
Good evening. I'm Mike Looney, your superintendent of the schools. As we're transitioning, let's give these wonderful artists one more round of applause. I think about the power of music in our lives frequently. In fact, uh, I think about how it morphs a, a monochrome existence into color. Music is that special something that can bind us all together despite our differences our language differences, our racial differences, our religious differences, our political ideology, music kind of makes that all dissipate and binds us together. And I will tell you, in all of my years as superintendent and, and in working in schools, which is now 22, um, I have never been around as many exemplary music educators as we have here in Williamson County. Thank you, teachers, for your outstanding work. In addition, I want to make sure that our musicians tonight know that the soup here really appreciates you giving up your personal time to come and show and share your talent. Thank you, young men and women, so much for doing that. Well, you didn't, you didn't come to hear me speak, so I'm going to introduce Sydney Shadricks, who is the Mixed Choir Program Director tonight. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sydney Shadricks, the Vocal Music Director at Independence High School. And first of all, I'd like to thank Dr. Looney for cultivating such a wonderful community here in Williamson County where the arts are so appreciated. It truly makes a wonderful place for me and for my colleagues to teach. It truly makes it fun to come to work every single day and get to spend the day with students like these and with faculty and staff who do appreciate the arts. This has been a wonderful day and a half. It's been a great day getting to see these students come so far and to really overcome the goal of learning these difficult pieces in just a day and a half. They've done exemplary work. And one of the reasons, the main reason, the only reason that they have done such a wonderful job are because of the clinicians that we have today. So it's my honor, honor to introduce to you all Dr. Gary P. Wilson the director of the Mixed Choir tonight. He's the director of Choral and Vocal Studies at Lipscomb University, which includes conducting the acapella singers and chamber singers, directing the vocal jazz ensemble, and overseeing the vocal studio program. Choirs under his leadership have performed at regional and state music conferences in New York City's Carnegie Hall and in venues throughout the United States and Europe. He is a frequent conductor and clinician for honor choirs and festival choirs. In 2012, Dr. Wilson founded the Lipscomb Men's Choral Festival, an annual event that brings high school singers together for a performance of men's choral literature, including the premieres of newly commissioned works. I've had the opportunity to sit in the rehearsals these past two days with Dr. Wilson, and I can tell you it's been one of the most fulfilling experiences that I've had as a teacher here in Williamson County. They were some of the most quiet rehearsals I've seen, which speaks so highly of Dr. Wilson because he's kept those students engaged, not only mentally, but physically as well. I think that any music teacher can take a basic choir and teach them to be good, but it takes a truly exemplary music teacher to take a good choir and push them beyond complacency in their success and challenge them to be excellent. And that's what Dr. Wilson has done for our students tonight. So if you'll please join me in welcoming Dr. Wilson to the stage.
Before our last number, let me take a moment and say thank you to the Williamson County District and the superintendent and the faculty and staff for um, organizing this event. Uh, Jeanette and I were both thrilled to be invited to uh, conduct and perform and work with the students uh, last night and all day today. We've both had a phenomenal experience. That does not always happen when, when we go to do these things. And before we do anything else, would the teachers who have students standing behind me and who sang in the treble group, would you all stand so we can thank you for your work? Where are they? Here? Can we give them all a big hand? I do these kind of events on a pretty regular basis and you never know what you're going to find when you give the first downbeat. It's, it's a little bit scary to be honest, uh, but I was pleasantly surprised at the preparation that the students had already done. I was thrilled with how hard they worked last night and all day today. Uh, I was totally and completely supported by the teachers and the faculty who were here working with me and was treated like a, uh, a colleague uh, and, a, and a king, to be honest. And it was, it's a great experience. So thank you uh, to all of you from Williamson County for treating Jeanette and me that way and for starting this event. Uh, the arts are important in our lives. Uh, recently, Congress has added the arts into our core curriculum, which is something that the music education community has been trying to make happen for quite some time. And we are thrilled and excited to know that we now rank up there with the other core subjects uh, and that we are a part of what makes a student educated and civilized and well-rounded. Uh, so continue to support your legislators. Please vote and support the arts with your vote and with your dollars. It means a lot. We're going to close tonight with Come to the Music. And thank you again for being here. Hallelujah, glory, glory, sing to the Lord. 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 Glory,